electrical outlets and switches refer to installations that connect to an electric power supply, and conductors are objects or materials that carry electrical current, like wires or fuses. These allow people to safely use electrical devices. A damaged or inoperable outlet or switch or an exposed conductor may cause electrical shock or fire, resulting in injury or death. While conducting Inspire inspections, look for outlets, switches, and electrical conductors throughout the outside, inside, and unit inspectable areas. Inspect outlets or switches that can be easily accessed without causing damage to property or harm to you or others. If a personal or decorative item is in front of the switch or outlet, politely ask the owner or participant to temporarily move it. Look at each outlet and switch for any damage, such as missing cover plates, cracks, burn marks, or smoke residue. Also confirm that there are no exposed electrical conductors, like wires or wire nuts. If you notice an unintentional gap or opening, Determine if it is greater than one half inch and that no improper material, such as caulk, is being used to fill the gap. Note, do not open any closed electrical enclosures to inspect electrical conductors, except for electrical service panels. Additionally, low voltage wiring, such as for telephones, doorbells, or thermostats, should not be evaluated under this standard. If a light bulb is missing from a fixture, evaluate the condition under the interior or exterior lighting standards. If the entire outlet is painted, this is a fail. If a safety hazard is present, such as smoking, sparking, or a conductor is in contact with water, do not test the outlet or switch. Instead, ask the owner or participant to turn off the breaker and cite a deficiency. If there are no safety hazards, test the outlet or switch. For switches, flip the toggle. If nothing happens, evaluate the powered item, like a light fixture, garage door, or cooking appliance, under its corresponding standard. For three-pronged outlets, plug the tester into the outlet. The lights on the back of the tester indicate whether the outlet is correctly wired. Compare the emitted reading with the key on the tester. If it displays a non-energized reading, first check that there is not a switch nearby that controls power to the outlet. Note: View the Inspecting GFCI and AFCI Outlets and Breakers video for additional steps required to test AFCI, GFCI, and protected outlets. If the tester indicates that the outlet is incorrectly wired, ungrounded, or unenergized, mark it as a fail. Two-pronged outlets can be found in older units. To test, attach a two-prong adapter to the tester and plug it into the outlet. The outlet does not have a grounding wire, so if the outlet tester displays an open ground reading, pass the outlet. Cite a fail if the outlet is incorrectly wired or unenergized. Note, check the minimum electrical and lighting standard to ensure the appropriate number of outlets are installed in each habitable room. For every INSPIRE standard, review the health and safety determination for each deficiency. As a best practice for the HCV program, photograph life-threatening or 24-hour deficiencies for the inspection report. For more details about inspecting electrical conductors, outlets and switches, and other inspectable items, review the INSPIRE standards on HUD's website. To see more INSPIRE inspection videos and other training resources, visit HUD Exchange.